Forget it. Menstrual discs have become more and more popular over the last couple of years. And although a menstrual disc collects your flow like a menstrual cup does, they're shaped, folded, and placed differently. I did a video a while back that stated some of the differences between a menstrual cup and a menstrual disc. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll go ahead and leave a link at the end of this video as well as in the description box. There are five menstrual discs on the market that I know of. The Soft Disc, the Flex Soft Disc, the Ziggy Cup, the Luma Unique, and the Nixit. I'll be going over each of these and giving you some information about it. If you're interested in hearing about these menstrual discs or are looking for an alternative to a menstrual cup or other reusable menstrual items, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The first thing that I want to point out is that all menstrual discs are specifically designed to be used to have mess-free period sex. So yes, you can use these discs while you're bleeding and having penetrative sex. So the first menstrual disc that I know of came out in 1990s. I remember finding it in around 1996-ish. I was actually looking for a different product. It was a mini pad, which was more like a tampon, but sat between your labia to absorb your flow. I don't think those ever made it to the market, but I did find the soft cups. So the soft cup looks like this. It had a pink ring and then this really crunchy, plasticky feeling um, reservoir. And if you remember, it made a lot of noise. It sounded like you were opening a bag of chips while you were in the stall. These are made out of a medical grade polymer. They're not biodegradable or recyclable. They were meant to be one-time use items and then disposed of. I did hear of people using it for a few days and then throwing it out. They actually had a or have a semi reusable version and I don't know if it was available in the United States. I had never seen it. I don't know anybody that has seen it here in the United States, but I did hear from people outside of my country that said that they could still find it. That particular version was supposed to be used for the whole period and then thrown out. In 2016, the soft cup was going to be discontinued, and that's when the Flex Fits company stepped in. They came in, kept the same design, but turned the ring black. The Flex discs are only available in monthly supply kits, or come as a sample when you purchase one of the Flex cups. The ring on these two cups are pretty rigid. Once you squish down on them, they kind of keep their shape. They don't like spring back or anything to their original circle. The next menstrual disc that was launched was the Ziggy Cup. And this cup was brought to us by the Intamina company who also brought us the um, Lily Cups as well as Kegel exercisers and intimate adult products. This disc was launched like three weeks after I did that menstrual cup versus menstrual disc video. So I had to um, put a note in there because people were like, hey, there's a reusable disc now. At the time of that video, there was only the disposable type. So the Ziggy cup is the first reusable menstrual disc on the market at least that I know of. Although it's about the same size as the soft discs and flex soft disc, the Ziggy cup has a little bit of a different shape to it. It's a little bit more elongated and not a perfect circle. Their design is supposed to be ergonomic. There is a specific way that you need to insert this cup to use it correctly or use it as intended. So when you're inserting the Ziggy cup, you want to make sure that the deeper area is the part that is inserted first and the shallow area is the part that goes in last. 
So the Ziggy Cup got rid of that really hard ring as well as the noisy reservoir. The reservoir on this is really soft. It's kind of like a rose petal. And this is made out of a silicone. Again, it is reusable. They also changed the design of the rim. It has kind of a notch through it, which creates this double rim and is supposed to help keep the cup in place. The fourth menstrual disc to hit the market is called Unique, and it is made by the Luma Company, which is based in Brazil. Originally, the Luma Company only sold to Brazil, but there was a vendor that um, was willing to ship it to me if I paid the high shipping costs, and I did. I did some group orders for their actual cup cups, um, and then when the Luma Unique came out, uh, Ella, another YouTuber and Facebook group owner, and I paired up and opened up group orders for these. Now you can find them from different vendors all over the world, and you can actually order the Luma Unique cups directly from a company website. Uh, they did find a vendor uh, to handle everything for them in the United States. So I think if you order from them, it comes from New York. We passed on suggestions to the owners for different sizes as well as different colors. So the Unique is the only menstrual disc on the market right now that offers their cups in different sizes a small, medium, and large. They also changed the design just a little bit by adding on a very long stem. And uh, because the stem is very thin and stretchy, I don't think that it's actually supposed to be used to tug on and pull your cup or disc out. It's more to locate the rim and remove it. If you don't need the stem, you can just trim it off completely. These menstrual discs also come with a silicone case. The firmness of the Unique disc is more of a medium to medium firm. Last but not least is the newest addition, which is the Nixit Menstrual Cup. I believe the Nixit was launched early in 2019, so it's not even a year old yet. It's very similar to the Ziggy Cup where it is very, very soft. It has a petal-like reservoir and a double rim. However, the Nixit doesn't have that ergonomic shape to it, so it doesn't matter which way you insert this cup, which in my opinion makes it a lot easier. So those were the five menstrual discs that we've had on the market. Fun fact, there was another menstrual disc that was trying to uh, be made and it was called the Anu or Anu. It was going to be the first menstrual disc that actually absorbed and I was really curious to see how that would work out. They tried to, to do, I think it was Indiegogo in 2015-ish. I contacted them in 2016 to see if, you know, they had anything going or if they even had samples of it or prototypes or anything but I never got contacted back. I'll go ahead and leave that campaign in the description box just because it's interesting and something different. It also had an applicator. I'm always asked which menstrual disc is the best and honestly I can't answer that. I can only answer what's the best for me and not really what's best for you. I can help you maybe narrow down what might work for you better, but I can't guarantee that, as I can't guarantee any cup. But what works the best for me is the Luma Unique in the size large. Another question that I get asked often is, which one is the softest? And that would be the Nixit. I'll go ahead and place these discs in the order from softest to firmest. And these are going off of the ring and not the reservoir. Again, the Nixit would be the softest. And then the Ziggy Cup is ever so slightly firmer than the Nixit. The Luma Unique would be a medium or a medium firm. And just to clarify, that would be a little firmer than medium. And then the Flex or Soft Discs would have the firmest of the rings. Well, that's all I have about menstrual discs for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you tried one or more of these discs, which ones and how did they work out for you? 
Until I see you next time, take care.